Two years ago, when Darren the first year trip to Dublin, I made my mind up that day we're dealing with a government that is full of hypocrites. Thank God at the wit, I was the only one not to shake his hand. And I never will be shaking his hand, so I'm glad about that. All we hear is about collusion, the state, the UDR, the Glen Ann gang, all the informers that are being protected by RUC Special Branch. That's all we get, that constant bombardment from Dublin. You are the most hypocritical government in the free world. We are asking you to take a stand back and take a fair look at the account of the troubles, a collusion from your country, through the Guards, through the Irish Army, giving cover to the gunmen along the border. You give them safe passage. You have a lot to answer for, or otherwise you wouldn't be hiding. As for us coming to Dublin, I think we need to put a deadline down. About close of play this Friday, we would need to hear from the Justice Minister that we're going to get somewhere, at least a meeting, and some kind of arrangement put in place whereby the coroner's office can be satisfied that you're working. Unfortunately, and I do mean this, unfortunately, the Irish government had not responded to our request for meetings, or more importantly, had not responded to the coroner's office. Not one sheet of paper, not one sheet of paper has come from the Irish government in a year to the coroner. So whenever we go to Dublin, don't blame us for coming down there to parade, to raise the issue of the involvement or the lack of involvement with the Irish government in bringing some sort of justice or closure for the families in the South Amma area. Kingsmill Massacre, one of the worst atrocities. People connected to that should hang their head in shame. But a government who's refusing to bring the people accountable that are responsible for it, they're worse. The people who covered this atrocity up are nearly or every bit as bad as the people who carried it out. So we have tried, we have sent numerous letters, we have sent we had, just just the evening at four o'clock I made a phone call again to the Justice Minister. Uh, I got no genuine response. So middle of March, end of March, unfortunately we are on our way to Dublin. Uh, but I just want to make it clear, folks, why we are going to Dublin. We are going down to get answers. It's okay for the people on Bloody Sunday to come out onto the street on a regular basis, or in other parts of Northern Ireland to come out on a regular basis uh, from a Republican perspective to demand justice. Well, we're demanding from the Irish government. Forty-odd years ago, or maybe even more, they were involved in helping set up the IRA. Their own backyard is so rotten that they're afraid to open the door a wee bit, because once the, it opens slightly, they know rightly it will more likely swing completely open and the full facts will come out about the arms trials, about the gun running, about the explosives, about the money they give them, about their involvement with the IRA and the border region, where they turned a blind eye and allowed people to be taken and tortured in houses in the south of Ireland. But it has to be done. But don't blame us for demanding the right to have justice. If they won't engage with us, the responsibility lies with them, nobody else. So don't blame us.